What up, fish people? Kenny E with Anakin Aquatics. Well, guys, I haven't done this in a while, so I figure I'll do this next couple of weeks here. I'll we'll be doing little mini fish room tours. So tonight we are going to tour the rack room. So the first tank I'm bringing you to holds our Epistol Cockatoides Super Reds. And then it's also got some of these Peacock Gungeons in it. Cute little guys. This has been a well-established tank, been up for quite a while. Everybody seems to be doing well. A good friend of mine, Guppy Gang Aquatics, gave me these Epistos. That was cool of them. The only thing I don't see is my Gungeons. They must be hanging out. I just had the one out tonight. The rest of them must be hanging out in their little rock caves and stuff we've got set up for them, like over here. And I've got a couple others of those based in here. Plus, there's just so many plants in here that... Everybody seems to be doing well in this tank. We do have those little splash tetras in here, too. But if you guys have never kept these little peacock gungeons, they're really cool fish. Anyway, tank next to it we won't spend a lot of time on. This is the one that had those sebrums in it. Now we're down to just a couple of pandagara. My wife's going to come in and get all this gunk off everything and see what plants she can salvage. Those uh, Severums were eating her plants. So she's not a happy camper about that. So we'll move on because Danny's not pleased with that tank. So in this tank, this is our... It's supposed to be my angel breeding tank, but never seem to be able to get angels in. So for right now, it's holding a bunch of these baby electric blue Acara. And as you can see, they are growing like weeds. And Mama still has attitude about me coming up and checking out her babies. She does not like me anywhere near them with this camera, as you can see. But these little guys are getting big quick. And as you can see, they're going to have good color on them, it looks like. We probably got 30, maybe 40 in our first batch, which isn't too bad. But they are cute little stinkers. Now we've got some mystery snails in here. They're a pretty good cleanup crew for these guys. Then the tank next to that, this holds my Rio Candelaria, my Salvini. And as you can see, they've had a fresh batch back there. And Dad seems to be being a little bit more receptive to leaving the babies alone now, aren't you? I was a little upset. I did get Chewy, and I had to make room for Chewy, and I put my other Salvini in here, and he abruptly killed them both. I saved the female, but he did kill the male. was not happy about that. I actually had the pair sold. Should have just shipped them is what I should have done. Now, I'm not seeing Mama tonight. I wonder if he's killed her now. He's been being a turd, this one. Mom's usually got more sense than him, though. I'm sure she's got herself a spot hiding somewhere. That's our little 55. Well, that's got me wondering where she's at. Then up here is my wife's few different 
10 gallons. We got these guys from a good friend of ours, Derek Rice. He's been working on this train for quite a while. Cool looking fish. The camera doesn't do these guys any justice. They've got these wild tiger stripes in them. And then in here is our little Kalania Bloody Marys. Let's see if I can home in on some. Good luck with that, eh? And in here we have our Panda Guppies. They're probably one of my favorites that we keep as far as the guppies go. And we also got a little colony of uh, cherry shrimp going in here as well. And then over here, guys, we got some more mixed endlers. Then there's some lemon tetras in here. We're starting to finally get the tanks thinned down again. We'll probably start doing some active breeding projects again soon. Okay, and then down here are my Celestial Pearl Danios. And I do apologize, guys. These guys are legendary at hiding in here. I can't ever seem to find them. They like to hang in the very back, too. I can't see them tonight. Yep, they're not out. And my wife's been having real good luck with these. These are Lucas Brett's LRV. Let me get some where I can get over here, guys. Anyway, these are uh, Blue Dreams from Lucas. And she's excited. She's been getting lots of babies out of these guys. I think she started this colony with 10, I think. Cool little tank. Then next to here, where is he at? He's over hanging out back there tonight. We've got one of our little pea puffers. There he is, hanging out. We've had this little guy for, gosh, probably over a year. And these guys here are blue sapphire shrimp. And yes, we, like Lucas, feed them uh, tropical granules. We got these guys from Detroit Shrimp. And down here we got some Cygnatus, some of our leftover shellies. These are going to be going to Sean OTD. He's been asking me for some, so we set some aside for him. Eventually, they're going to go to him. And in this tank, we got some baby 
Honduran red points. They're all oh, like to hang way back up in this stuff. They're usually pretty hard to spot. There's one. And I have lemas in there too somewhere, but I haven't seen them in a few days. So they, like I said, they get up in that vegetation and they're hard to find. But I'm going to have to yank all this vegetation out because these guys, there's a lima right there actually. These Hondurans are going to have to come out of here. Because they're starting to get quite aggressive now. And this is some more Signatus Shelleys in here. And my wife had just let this overgrown, so good luck finding them. But they're definitely in there, there's like seven of them. And in here, let's see if he'll let us shoot him. That little guy is a dollar sunfish. Cute little species. We've only got one right now. We've been trying to find more. Eventually, I will put these guys in a bigger tank once I get a few. But for now, he's perfectly happy in his little 10-gallon here. There he's coming back. They are curious little species. There's a good shot of them. Now he's giving me guff. He don't like me homing in on his territory. He's a funny little fish. And then next to this are the remainder of the electric blue Acara for now. A couple of these I think are going to go into, I'm going to split them up into a couple different hundreds. Because they're big enough they should be fine in there with the angelfish. And I think this is the dominant here. That scar you see on his head came from mama when she figured out she didn't like these guys in with her babies anymore. Fortunately, I got five males to one female. Not real good odds. And we also got, as you can see, some more Pandagara in here. They're cool little fish. They're hard working little fish. And then over here are my baby Rio Condelarias. This was from a couple of batches ago. They're about ready to go to market here. They're starting to color, so about that time. Cute little fish. So if you like aggressive little mini cichlids, these guys are your guys. They get a, well you saw dad over there, only about three to four inches tops. This little guy's starting to color up nice right there. Starting to get his yellows. I shouldn't say he, could be a she. But yeah, some of these guys are starting to color up. Really cool fish. He got these from Rusty Wessel when he was here. And down below here are my wife's and I's little similis shelly fish. That's a similis right there. 
Sorry, this tank I don't kind of mess with too much, but these guys have actually had a couple of babies now. We're actually going to move the Signatus out of the 50 low boy, and I think we're going to put these guys in there. They're more colony breeders, and we don't have to worry about eating. They're young. They're really a cool little shelly. So anyway, guys, that was a quick little tour of the what we call the rack room. Like I said, the rest of the week, I'll try to get you guys a room a night or room every couple of days. I think we'll start you next. Next one will probably either be... Uh, I could do the living room, could do the kitchen. There's lots of cool places I could take you. With almost 70 tanks or a little over 70, I'm sure we'll find something you like. Anyway, guys, as always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. with Danik and Aquatics. Going to check out for now. Y'all have a great night.